five family and friends. Welcome. <laughs> I'm going to wait until a few people come on here. Once you come on here, please say a hi, please say hello, please say a hey, please say God bless you. I'm not videoing myself tonight, so I can't see you. Um, just let me know when a few hop on, you know. I hope everybody's blessed. I hope everybody has a, is having a great holiday. I hope you had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. Wasn't the greatest week, but I had a good weekend in God. All right, so there's a few people on, right? God bless you guys. So as you guys can see, those who don't know, those who may know, my name is Joshua Klein, and I have a very special guest tonight, a very special friend of mine. You probably have seen her on my Facebook before. You probably saw her Facebook. Her name is Jenny. I want to introduce you to Jenny, and Jenny, welcome. Thank you for coming on. This is not planned. Um, this is what we're going to call a free flow video, but I do want to make you guys aware of something. Jenny and I are going to be doing a planned video probably at some point this week. Maybe I'll try to post something tomorrow um, and give you guys a day and time where we're going to talk about some specific topics. Um, I will post it a few days in advance, this way you guys can be aware, and Jenny and I are going to do a co-host on a video talking about a few different topics, whatever the Lord wants us to share. So I want to introduce you to my special guest, Jenny, maybe introduce yourself, say whatever you would like to say. Hey everybody, just want to say thank you so much for joining, we appreciate your time and fellowship this night, and uh, just let the joy of the Lord be our strength, yeah. I'm Jenny Lee. And Holy Spirit's here, so I just pray that all the needs are met this night and uh, that the Holy Ghost completely has full reign over this video. So thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So do you feel anything like specific in the Spirit from the Lord to talk about? If you don't, that's okay, because I'm still trying to figure that out as well. Because we really did not plan this. Um, I came to Vinny's house and I said, hey, let's do, oh. <laughs> I came to, um, and uh, I said, let's do a lot, because I felt it in the spirit of God. I yeah. personally feel, yeah. I want to pray for you tonight. Yeah. I want to pray for your miracle tonight. Yes, I want to pray for your healing tonight. Yes. I want to pray for your salvation tonight. I want to prophesy over you tonight, and uh, I want to believe God. Um, but if you're feeling anything maybe specific to talk about, um, I'm even open to maybe if somebody has a question, maybe we could do a Q&A. Yes, I don't yes. know a lot. I really Sorry. don't know a lot. But if it's something that I could help you with, I would be honored to. So um, why don't we start with that? Yeah. Is anybody on here, do you have a question? If you're going to ask me when Jesus is coming back <laughs> or to, the, to explain the whole book of Revelation, I cannot help you. Um, but if you have a question, we want to open up the floor yes. for a few minutes. I want to encourage everybody and anybody to stay on here uh, for a while because I do want to pray with you. I want to pray for you. Jenny has a great ministry and gift of deliverance. Uh, she has a great ministry and gift of the word of knowledge and prophecy. Um, so all glory to God. So I want to open up the floor. If anybody has a question, please feel free. If you don't have a question, that's okay as well. But I just want to give you the option to ask something, if you would like. So, bro, just let me know. If somebody, you know. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we thank you for your abundant blessings in the name of the Lord Jesus. Welcome your presence here. Holy Spirit, Amen. have your way. Just have your way. Praise you, Father. Amen. Bring the needs, Lord. Does anybody Amen. have a question? Jesus. The presence of the Lord is here. Yes. Jesus loves you. Nobody told you today, and I just want to encourage you all to know that Jesus loves you. Amen. He died for you, and if it was for you alone, he still died. If there was nobody else on this entire planet, 
the love of the Father is here and his abundant mercy. So thank you, Lord, and I pray your presence overflows. Amen. What's going on? It's Lord. Uh, I got Nick LeBoy, when are we doing a tent revival? <laughs> ah! Confirmation. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Come on. Hey, bro. You let me know. You let me know. And a uh, prayer request. Yeah. And you opened up a ministry about six months ago, and I, asked, and I asked you to pray for increase, and I will take a prophetic word if you have to. Hi, Joshua and Jenny. I got a beauti beautiful wow. prophetic word from you at the encounters. Thank you. Stephen Osa. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yes. Yes. Steve, I'm sorry I never responded back to your message as well. Um, hallelujah. Yeah, I met Steve. Steve is running a uh, like a home group type of meeting. Awesome. Um, Steve, we're going to pray for you. Jenny, why don't you pray right. for Steve and the ministry? And yes, I'll Lord. see if what God is saying. Yes. Lord. Not too long. Because yeah. <laughs> we gotta go, you know? Yeah, but just yeah. touch heaven. <laughs> Steve, God got something for you. Yes, Lord, Father. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord, Hallelujah. I pray the fire of the Spirit upon this ministry, Lord, that you would give a supernatural abundance of increase, Hallelujah. Lord. I hear the sound of an abundance of rain. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. That heaven would touch earth, Lord. That you would bless the work of his hands. That you would draw souls into the kingdom. Through the work of his hands, Lord. In prayer, in battle, in intercession. A mighty gift you've yes. given, Lord. Let Amen. it be imparted. Let it be stirred up, Lord. In mighty travail for your kingdom's expansion. Let thy kingdom come. Thy will shall be done. On earth as it is in heaven. And I just pray that the fire anointing of the Holy Ghost be magnified and multiplied through the ministry you've entrusted to this person Hallelujah. and beyond. To reach this island, to shake this island, to shake the community to its core. Hallelujah. That the community would be flipped completely upside down for the gospel's yes. sake. For the kingdom of the gospel shall be preached to the uttermost parts of the earth until the Lord Jesus Christ shall return. We just welcome your presence, Lord, and uh, we just thank you, Lord, that uh, you've given a fresh anointing upon him to do your will, to yeah. be a servant for your thank kingdom, you, Lord. Lord. Stewards of peace, Father, send the laborers into the fields for harvest, Lord. Send the right people, godly alignments, godly unions, godly leadership, Lord. Put it together as you see fit, Father. And I just pray a hedge of protection over this ministry. Yes. And that you would have your way. In Jesus' mighty, powerful name, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Steve, the Lord is showing me you, and you're holding two big swords. The Lord's showing me this in the spirit. Steve, if you're still on here, please let me know. I believe he is, because you just prayed for him, so I'm sure. The Lord is showing me you, and you're holding two big swords. And one sword is a representative of the sword of the spirit, meaning the word of God, yes. that's in you, and it's going to come out of you even greater. And the other sword, the Lord is showing me in regards to like a spiritual warrior sword, like a spiritual warfare battler, warrior. And uh, I see, I see you, Steve. I see you teaching. That the Lord has given you a teaching gift. I see people uh, in your meeting lining up chairs in a circle, um, and God has given you the anointing to teach. And they are moved. Um, they are amazed at the gift God has given you. It brings your teaching gift brings glory to the Father. Do not think that you don't know enough. Um, Preach and teach what God has given you. And uh, I believe the sword also is that the Lord is going to sharpen. Um, I see a sharp sword. He's going to give you deeper, sharper, revelatory revelation of the scripture because you have a teaching mantle on you. Uh, you're prophetic, Steve. Don't be afraid, Don't be afraid to prophesy. Um, and another thing I believe the Lord is saying is do not be afraid to ask for money. Uh, do not be afraid to ask for money, of course, if you do it in a biblical manner. Um, do not be afraid to collect offerings. Do not be afraid because um, you're going to need it for what the Lord has you to do. Um, and I just pray a complete healing over your body, uh, complete healing and miracle over your mind. Um, and if the Lord 
<clears throat> says to Steve, fully launch something, whether it be non-for-profit or anything with the states, uh, do not be afraid nor dismayed, for I, the Lord thy God, I go before you and I walk with you. Um, and I have prepared the way for you. So I see a great um, teaching anointing. I see the prophetic. Um, I see people lining up in circles uh, around you. And the word of God, God is going to use you, Steve, to give his people meat and to operate in the prophetic. So you, 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 you want to receive words for yourself which is good and you should, but God is saying, Steve, I have also called you son to give words to my people. Um, so I see a just great teaching mantle upon you. Um, and, uh, you know, it comes with great responsibility, um, but the Lord is equipping you. Uh, you've been in this for a while. Um, I see healing and restoration about to hit your house. Um, and it's going to expand. Uh, we need teaching. We need teachers. Um, John 3.16 is one of the most powerful verses in the Bible, um, but we can't hear that every single week. We need teachers. So God bless you, Steve. I hope that was um, you know, encouraging to you. Uh, so praise God. Thank you for praying for Steve. He's a very nice guy. Maybe we can go to his group one day, you know? He was at an encounter. He was at an encounter. He had a good time. Thank God. Anybody else? Any questions? Uh, Steve responding? He just said thank you. Right on. Praise God. And then we got another one. Yeah. Hey, pray for work in a new season for me. And some paper work that comes out quick. Sharon Mannequin. Mannequin? Okay. Pray for work? Pray for work in a, in a new season for me. Okay. And some paperwork to come through quick. Okay. 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 Yes. Sure. Mm -hmm. Father God, Lord, I thank you that you are the God of new. Thank you, Lord. I thank you that you said I, 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 I do a new thing. Um, and I believe, Sharon, the Lord is saying, be patient. Um, the desires of your heart will be met. The Lord sees you waiting for a very long time, crying out to him in a place of desperation. Um, but I believe it's your time to reap. I believe it's your time to be filled. Uh, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness sake, for they shall be filled. And the Lord is saying uh, that you are going to be filled. You're going to be filled with his glory. You're going to be filled with his power. Uh, he shall supply all your needs according to his riches and his glory. Um, Lord, and I thank you for uh, not just a job, but I thank you for a career. Um, the Lord would say to you, Lauren, that, uh, or Sharon, I'm sorry, uh, that there's more in you than you think. So don't settle when going to look for a job. Um, aim high. You have a high, uh, a high and mighty God. Um, and Lord, I thank you for a new season. I'm seeing something in the spirit with a house. I don't know what the Lord is showing me. Does a house or a home or apartment, something, does that mean anything to you, Sharon? And if you tell me no, I will not be embarrassed. So please be honest. But I'm seeing something with a house. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're, you're getting a new house. You're in a new house. You need a house. I don't know. I'm not sure. Yes. She said, yes, the house means something. Well, I don't know <clears throat> why the Lord is showing me a house. Maybe that has something to do with your paperwork. I don't need to know, but I feel by the spirit of the Lord, the Lord is saying it is done, it is finished, and it's yours. I don't know what that means. Um, justice and recompense shall be yours. Uh, and he's going to restore the years that the locusts and the canker worm uh, have stolen. And I just pray for the fire and the love and the power of God to be upon your life now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah, the Lord's showing me a house. I don't know. It's pretty nice, too. <laughs> Looks like this one a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. Anybody else? Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, what did Sharon Thank you. say? What did Sharon, anything? She said yes to the yes. house, right? Need it paid, paid off. Though, yes. You need the house paid off. Well, okay. Sharon, by the Spirit of the Lord, the Lord said tonight it's done. The Lord showed me a house. I didn't know what it means. He knows what it means. He told me to tell you. He's going to supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. The house is done. It's yours. Start praising. Wow. No, no matter what the enemy, no matter what it looks like. Okay, anybody else? Thank you, Jesus. Right, let's go to the next one. Hunter, why was God silent when I suffered? Hunter? Yes. Why was God silent when I suffered? Um, I'll talk about that for a little bit. Maybe if you have anything, please. Yes. Um, okay, that is 
a phenomenal question. Um, if I were to come on camera and say, I don't have some questions about the Bible and God, I would be lying. Um, I believe that God is always speaking. I believe God speaks prophetically. I believe God speaks through his word. I believe God speaks to us individually. I believe God speaks through people. I believe God speaks through sermons. I believe God is always speaking. Um, but I believe that there'll be times in life where God may seem silent. So we can have the faith that he is still there. In my life, when I go through hard times, I still go through some very difficult times. I'm a work in progress. I still have a lot uh, a ways to go. But his mercy is new every morning. I believe that there's times in life where God could seem silent. But see, something the Lord told me when I thought he wasn't there, and I said, God, why are you allowing me to go through all this hell? He brought me to the scripture, I shall never leave you, I shall never forsake you. Lo, I am with you even until the end of the age. Even if we are not feeling God, we cannot go by feelings. See, it's Christ in us, the hope of glory. So Jesus put his Holy Spirit in us the second we became born again. The Holy Spirit never, ever leaves us. It's sealed unto the day of redemption. So God could be seeming a little bit far away or a little bit silent because he wants to maybe test us a little bit to see if we believe that he's good and he's still inside of us and he'll really never leave us or forsake us. Now, there's times where I felt that the Lord was far away. Really, I was the one far away. Really, I wasn't the one speaking much. Really, sometimes in my life, God was there, but I was distracted with things of the world. I was distracted with sin. I was distracted with my own mind. So I want to encourage you with this. That's an awesome question because it's genuine and it's real. And I felt like that before too. Here's what I could say. The Lord does that. He backs off a little bit, so to speak, to test our faith. To see if you'll believe that he really is good, that he'll really never leave you, and he really will never forsake you. And for the person who asked that, Christ is in you the hope of glory. He'll never leave you nor forsake you, even when you don't feel him, even when you can't see him, even when you're going through hell. I believe it was David. David said, Lord, if I make my bed in hell, you'll be there with me. Yeah. So let's not go by feelings. Because if I went by feelings, well, I probably would have been married 72 times by now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, you know, I, just crazy stuff. Because my mind's being renewed. Be transformed by the renewing. I-N-G of your mind. My, my mind's going to be renewed until I go to glory. So if we go by how we feel, can't do that. It's not feelings, it's faith. The just shall walk by feelings? No. The just shall walk by faith. But sometimes God does... How should I say it? He doesn't like pull back, but... It's like a wilderness experience. Yeah, it's like the teacher is always quietest during the test. Come on. In other words, so fear not, neither be dismayed. For mm -hmm. the Lord thy God is with you. And his staff and rod comforts us in these times. And he will lead us to green pastures. And we shall find rest for our souls. And uh, Job, you know, he was a righteous yeah. man, the only righteous man in the land. And wow. uh, he endured great testing. And I'm sure a lot of questions came to his mind because the Bible tells us so. And um, even during those great times, he got back a hundredfold at the Hallelujah. end of the season of his testing when everybody else around him said, you know, why don't you just give up on this? I mean, his wife even said, uh, I believe, why don't you just, you know, you know, give up on this whole God thing? And there's going to be people around us you know, looking at the outward um, situations that we're going through, not um, an understanding that we're going through an internal struggle, an internal right. warring, an internal right. conflict that the Lord is working out and purging things. And sometimes mm. we need to be in that seemingly desert um, place alone. And until Christ is, is all you have, sometimes then, then Christ is really truly all you, you need. Even though he already was all we need, sometimes we have to see that. And so sometimes things will be supernaturally removed and we'll just feel completely isolated. Like, God, why are you doing this to me? 
I feel so alone right now. Why is everything stripped and I just feel alone? And um, it just makes us reach a little further down inside of our soul and reach forth and press forth towards the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ. And so he's Amen. with you and he's for you. Praise God. I think that was the Lord speaking when you said a hundredfold. Because I feel that people on here, they're going to get a hundredfold blessing back. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Any other questions? We'll take maybe another two or three max. Because, you know, we, we want to pray for people, too. We have a prayer yes. request. Okay. <clears throat> well, Sean Figueroa. Mm-hmm. I have an infection in my cuticle, right hand, middle finger. Oh, wow. I need healing. I pray, but it's not healing. And do you have a word for the Lord for me? Blessings to you both. You want to pray for her healing? Absolutely. Go ahead. Right. Thank God. We just Thank lift up this need to you, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against every cell in that body right now that's not in alignment with your word. It's not in alignment with your will. I just command every cell to come into alignment with the word of God, which declares that he sent his word and healed all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. We nail that to the cross. It's already been done. It's already been finished. We come into agreement with it now. And I just come against all infection. I come against all forms of infirmity. I speak to you in the name of Christ. And I command you to loose your grip off of this vessel of the Most High God. In the name of Jesus Christ, yes. I command you to come out. Yeah. And you're banished back to the pit in which you came. And that's where you shall remain. And I just command the blessing of the Lord upon you, upon your, this body, and supernatural healing power from the Lord Jesus Christ be bestowed upon you. And open heaven, Father. Open the windows of heaven. Pour out the blessing of the supernatural manifestation of direct healing mm. now. Let heaven touch this body now, Lord. The fire of your spirit. Yes. Purge all infirmity. Let it be done now, yeah, once Lord. and for all. I command this mind to come out of agreement with fear. I command this mind to come out of agreement yeah. with sickness. And I command this mind to come into agreement with the light and into agreement with the word of God. That we shall live faith-filled believers. Yeah. And thank you, Lord, that we go through these things to increase supernatural increase of faith in the, in the reality that it's already been done just receive jesus name jesus name hallelujah hallelujah and my little sean i see the lord just pouring fresh oil upon you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet i see the lord restoring even greater joy the latter joy shall be greater than the former i see you as a pioneer i see you as a pillar of your family with the intercession, the Lord, the Lord has heard your cries and he's moving upon your cries. And this is pretty unusual, Mama LaShawn, but I really believe the Lord is saying that you need to be careful where you go and who you're connected to because you're gifted and the body of Christ needs the gifts that's inside of you. So I want to encourage you by the Spirit of the Lord, you're gifted. So right now, I just break any any stagnation. I break anything that would cause her to, to be held up from her calling. I break any, any type of religion that would come against her. Right now, by the fire and by the name of Jesus Christ. LaShawn, you're gifted. The body of Christ needs you. Um, 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 you had a lot of training from the Lord, but maybe the Lord will put you in some type of training uh, so you could do the ministry he has for you. Um, because there is a ministry that he has for you. Um, and if you, uh, 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 God, I just pray that the Lord is going to put you with divine alignments to get you to the place where you need to be. Um, because I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, uh, it's time to speak up. 
My word is in your mouth. The prophetic anointing is upon your life. You're a prayer warrior. You're an intercessor. And the body of Christ needs prophetic people. The body of Christ needs intercessors. It's time to come out of the cave. Uh, we break any fear of moving forward. And Lord, I thank you for the Holy Spirit launching upon LaShawn right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I pray for divine alignments in her life uh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Wow. Praise God. Anybody else have a question? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> sweet Glory. peace. Sweet peace. Sweet peace. I told you about the prophetic. That's all God has me do these days. Joy That's the all Lord. he has me do. Yeah, you gotta laugh. You shall laugh again. <laughs> wow. God is good. Nickel Boy says amen. Anything from for me? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Glory. Yeah, thank you. I just see a mighty training period. Wow. It's just the first thing that came to my mind. Okay, speak on it. That's the Lord. Exactly what. But That's the Lord. That's the Lord. Jesus, you have him in training. Wow. He's a warrior for your kingdom. Mm -hmm. Enlisted in the Shot. army okay. into the kingdom of God. Yeah. And, uh, there may be rough patches along the way, but uh, he's called chosen vessel of the most high. So there's, uh, this is a training period right now. Oh, I apologize. No interruption. It's okay. Training period right now. Yeah. And uh, there's some hurdles, uh, but they're being worked out uh, yeah. in your favor. And uh, whoever's speaking anything against you, um, just don't listen to it. And uh, you know where it's coming from. So the filter is of discernment is growing uh, within you wow. to be able to filter wow. out those voices um, wow. trying to pull you back from your destiny. And so, um, just in the name of Jesus, I just command yes. anyone who's not called in alignment uh, this season yeah. for you to be supernaturally removed. In the name of Christ, the hedge of protection would be um, placed upon you and a pla uh, placed upon your family and those who are close to you. And um, if some of the people in your life are, have hurt you. I just pray for those wounds to be healed now. Yeah. Emotional um, bondages and emotional wounds of the past. That, that those doors um, are being closed once and forever and the root is being cut. I lay an axe for healing power of God at the root of all emotional yes, wounds Jesus. and all emotional entanglements and any forms of bondage. Wow. In the name of Christ, wow. be blessed. Amen. Wow. And I just see the Lord placing a greater mantle of glory upon your life. Thank you, Lord. You're in a great season of restoration. It's been hard. It's been rough. Yes. And I even hear the Lord saying, Nick, you're not who you used to be. Yes. And see, when, the, when Jesus makes us into a new creation, we don't even have to be where we come from. So everything is going to change. 2019 is going to be a wild year for you, my brother. Amen. Wow. Hallelujah. That's, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Jesus Lord. is looking for a vessel or vessels who he could speak through. Paul said, pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, but especially that you may prophesy. Why? Because prophecy is for encouragement, exhortation, comfort, warning, guidance, love. Um, it, it, it gives you a deeper realization of, oh my gosh, Jesus really hears me. He really knows all about me. Paul Amen. said, above all, that you may prophesy. Prophecy is important. Amen. Paul thought it was real important. So I'm going to go with that. Powerful. I'm not going to question Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Anybody else? It's not about being a psychic. It's about being prophetic. Psychic is yes. the artificial thing. And yes. you know, um, if there, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do it. If there's <laughs> any witch or psychic or medium or anybody involved in the occult, whatever you're trying to do, it's not going to work. And the second thing, Satan blinds the minds of the unbelieving. 
He will use you and he will destroy you. Jesus Christ will use you, build you, encourage you, love you, give you hope, give you a future, a whole new life. Amen. He'll be there even through the hell where sin abound, grace abounded even much more. So if anybody's involved in the occult or Satanism or psychics or whatever and you're searching, I want you to discover the real power, not some counterfeit artificial power. I hear the Lord saying, call on me tonight and I'll even pop up in your room and I will get those devils out and I will put my spirit in because whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So thank you, Father. People say, oh my gosh, witches and people in Satanism. That's who Jesus died for. Yeah. And it doesn't scare me. But I did need to make it very clear, whatever you're trying to do won't work. So come to the real power. Come to the real love. Come to Jesus. He loves you. God is love. God is love and he's real. Any other questions? Maybe we'll take one more and then we're going to pray. Next one was Maria Walker. Mm. Josh, been Amen. thinking about the miracle booth. Praise God for these ideas you place in your heart. Let's pray for a miracle booth. Wow. Hopefully, we find a spot this summer. Wow. Maria, amen. Thank you so much. Praise God. Amen. Let's pray for Maria. Who you go first? Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I just pray that whatever she's going through, that there would just be um, a supernatural peace placed upon her. I just come against the spirit of fear and uh, stress, yes, anxiety, and that the heaviness uh, she's been experiencing would be lifted off. Hallelujah. That you've given a garment of praise Thank in place Father. of the spirit of heaviness, Father. So, uh, I just command all oppression that's upon her in her life right now. Yeah, Lord. Um, be halted in operation in the spirit realm on earth as it is in heaven. And that the blood of Jesus Christ would cleanse all areas, deep inner healing. That a deep mm. inner healing um, mm -hmm. would take place tonight. Yeah. Go to the deep places, Lord. Deep, deep places. I shine the light upon the deep crevices. And um, the places where the enemy can't hang on any longer in the presence of the Lord is, is fullness of joy, pleasures forevermore. So I just thank you that you, you're placing a mighty infilling of joy wow. in, in your spirit upon her. And, and that joy will just spring up its wells of everlasting life. It's a river of living water. And that joy is supernatural. And it's not a, a joy, my peace, your peace. You, you leave with us, not as the world gives. So if the world did not give it, the world cannot take it yeah. away. So thank you for supernatural peace and infilling of joy in the Holy Spirit and a new, fresh desire um, for a strengthened prayer life and intimacy, closer intimacy with you, with the Lord Jesus. Amen. And um, just every need be met, Lord. Financial provision. Amen. I command and declare financial provision. Yeah. And I just come against any spirit of poverty that's trying to create anxiety in a situation. In the name of Christ, Lord. You've called us. You've chosen us. That um, You've given us plans for hope and a future. Even as thy soul prospers, and not just financial, but I pray that even her soul would begin to continue in the process of prospering in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Holy Spirit, fall. Yes, Lord. And I see the, uh, the generational attack. Whatever generational thing is coming against you, it's broken right now by the blood of Jesus. And Maria, the Lord says that he loves when you sing to him. And he loves when you dance for him. It brings great joy to his heart to see his daughter sing and dance. Praises and songs of love to the Father. You're a worshiper and you worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And he loves it and he loves you. This is going to be crazy. <laughs> we prophesy in part. Maria, I see somebody coming up to you with money in their hand. And giving it to you. Wow. Amen. 
I see. Wow. Somebody walking up to her with money. <laughs> I don't know how much money. It's not for me to know. I Amen. see somebody saying, Maria, and they're giving you money in their hand walking up to you. Amen. I feel the fire. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. Another question. The next one was... Just so you know, this is the greatest camera guy in the state of New York. He only charges $100 an hour. You want to hire him, you let me know. Just give me 20%. We're okay. Got to laugh. Oh, we oh my gosh. Somebody's going to walk up to him and give him money. Wow. Place it in the air. Look at that. Our God is a consuming fire. Next one, another one from Hunter. I myself have never felt the spirit of the Lord. Every time I praise, everyone else lifts their hands and feels the Lord's presence while I impersonate and act. Okay. Once again, we cannot completely go by feeling. But we are a spirit, soul, and body. So God does move and operate in our feelings as well. But we cannot determine feeling God. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah. Like it's deeper than feelings, feelings and emotions. Yeah. Um, I would love to talk to you personally because you're my bro and I love you, man. Um, I believe that would be more of like a personal counseling thing. Uh, and I don't want to do that public. Um, yeah. But I love you, man. And I just pray that the joy of the Lord is going to fill you right now wherever you are. In the name of Jesus. I just feel a ministry of great strength coming oh, wow. into your life. Amen. Wow. Yeah. A banner of strength. And uh, Yeah. And that the Lord will withhold no good thing mm. from his children. And so sometimes he allows us to draw near to him. And uh, no man comes unless the Spirit of God draws. Yes. And I just pray that God continues doing what He does because we stand back and we see the salvation of the Lord upon your life and His presence, I pray, would just completely overtake you to the point that it's so overwhelming Thank that you, it's Lord. just hard for you to contain it. It would be like a Thank fire you, shut up in your yes, bones. Our God is a consuming fire burning wow. a flame a blaze wow. and so the enemy is trying to block your blessing Jesus. but it's not going to work and that you shall carry a strengthened presence of the lord that other people will be set free just being in your presence mm. and i believe that that's why this is occurring he's setting you up for success in the ministry for his kingdom in jesus name Wow. I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Praise <laughs> God. We're getting our Pentecostal hair. I feel my hair. Like, uh. Hallelujah. That's good. Anybody That's else? Good. Prayer. Prayer request. Michael J. Jakubowski. My bro. Yeah. Guidance, wisdom, and personal stuff. Father, I thank you for a servant's heart. Thank you that you kept them alive for purpose, on purpose. Wow. And the Lord would say, do not despise the day of small beginnings. But small beginnings will turn into mass, mass, mass crusade evangelism lord i thank you for the yes. fire and the glory and a fresh baptism of heaven and the holy spirit coming upon him now yes. in the name of jesus wow anybody else mass evangelism michael mass the words that were spoken over your life shall come to pass. Mass, mass, shall yes. come to pass. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Deliverance ministry. Wow. 
Wow. Praise God. Yeah. Wow. That's uh, that's evangelist way. Oh. Uh, Praise I God. Yeah. See? <laughs> Praise God. That's why it's a real prophetic. We don't even know what we're talking about. <laughs> Praise God. You can't fake that. God knows. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we're all linked up now. We're all getting into that. So, yeah. see? Here we no are. No coincidence. Hallelujah. Here we are. Anybody else? Can you see what I see? A cloud of glory. Drunk in the spirit over here. Right. <laughs> Andrea Hepburn. Mm. Prayer for ministry doors to open. Hi, Andrea. Andrea is awesome. Andrea is a very special woman. Andrea, Andrea, I know you're a woman, but I believe the Lord is showing me something about you right now. See, when uh, John the Beloved, he, he laid his head on the bosom of Jesus, showing his love for Jesus, Jesus showing his love for him. He was close to Jesus. He was intimate with Jesus. And I want to tell you something, Andrea. The more you're close with Jesus, intimate with Jesus, as you are, but the Lord's going to call you into deeper intimacy as he's doing with myself, because I need it, believe me. That's going to open the door. Because it's Christ in you, the hope of glory. So there's hidden treasure inside of you that the Lord's going to bring out to the surface. So I just pray peace, love, joy in the Holy Ghost. Maria, uh, uh, Andrea, receive a fresh impartation of grace right now. Glory right now, a supernatural renewal of the mind right now, increased power, increased love, increased fire, increased anointing, increased intimacy. In the name of Jesus. And uh, Andrea, the Lord would say to you, just be you. Don't change. Be, don't be who people want you to be. Don't try to change. Don't don't let people put shackles. In. I break Amen. right now every word curse off of her life by the yes, blood of Jesus. Lord. I break all the shackles and the chains put upon her life, yes, even Lord. by family members right now and by church members, by the fire of God. I pray the fresh fire would fall upon her. Yes. Maria, do not listen to people who have put word curses over your life. They're broken right now. Every yes. ounce of wisdom. Witchcraft is broken right now by the blood of Jesus. No retaliation in the name of Jesus. I pray that the glory fills her room right now in the name of Jesus. Be who God created you to be, Andrea. Don't live for people. Live for Christ. Hallelujah. Don't listen to that liar. Jesus said the devil is a liar. He's the father of the lies. He's been lying ever since the beginning. He's a thief. He's a murderer. He came to steal, kill, and destroy. But I, Andrea, came to give you life and life more abundantly. Now walk in it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You have anything for Andrea? Just peace. Peace. Yeah. Be still. Amen. God is good. Andrew, I believe the Lord is saying, start to declare with your mouth, with your tongue, the word of God over your life. There is power in what you say, especially when you say the word of God. Start to declare it. As you speak peace, I see the Lord just calming the storm. In the name of Jesus. Anybody else? Can you hear what I hear? <laughs> the sound of revival. <laughs> and there is a sound. Well, there is a sound. Oh, yeah. There's an army being built Mighty up right now. Mighty rushing wind. <laughs> yes. There's an army being built up right now in Long Island, New York. Yes. And I believe, okay, I got to share this a little bit. I believe the army that's being built up in New York is going to be many members of many different churches coming together as one. I believe it's a lot, a lot has to do with my generation because the older generation paved the way and we're forever thankful for them. Seriously. 
Some pastors on Long Island and ministers and leaders gave up their whole life for this. We should be very thankful for them. And I mean that genuinely. And now it's time for us to rise up. Take the mantle that the Holy Ghost is placing down from heaven. And I believe this generation is going to be regional changers. That the principalities are going to be burnt to the floor. And it's there, there's going to be a shift that's going to hit this island. Regional changes. Not, no more limiting God to one church, one building, one ministry. Yes. It's time to shake the region yes. with the fire of God. Thank you. Regional changes arise. Prophets arise. Hallelujah. Anybody else? I'm done with low-level devils. I graduated from <laughs> low-level devils. It's time for principalities. Oh, yeah. By the power of Jesus Christ, not by the power of myself. Because there is no power in myself. So I don't want to be boastful. Not be, by might. Not by power. But by the Spirit of the living God. Yes. In which all things consist. Oh, and by that same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're coming after the darkness. Oh. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's a bad day for hell. <laughs> it's a bad season. And we're going to wreak havoc on the enemy. Wow. For what he's done to us, to our families. Yes. And it's time to take back what he's oh, stolen. Jesus. It's all over. Hallelujah. But it's just begun. All at the same time. Hallelujah. So let us get ready. Buckle our seatbelt because this is going to be the right oh. of a lifetime. There's going to be ups, there's going to be downs, yeah. there's going to be lefts, there's going to be rights. Yeah. And there's going to be loops along the way. But ultimately, he's going to move in us through us and break forth unlike any other revival we've ever seen so i just uh pray against discouragement upon the body of christ Hallelujah. and feelings of hopelessness frustration wow. wanting to give up feeling alone you know what pray for everybody for that yeah i'm going to use the bathroom real quick because i really have to. <laughs> okay look these videos are so real what do you know yeah. hey, what do you... but pray for that because god's giving you something Amen. and that's powerful i dealt with that Amen. So yeah, I just sense a great heaviness that's been on the body of Christ. There's a there's a frustration. Sometimes there's bitterness within us. Things that occur with our brothers and sisters. You know, there's um, judgmentalism. There's gossip. There's hypocrisy. There's walls of division, and um, the the Lord is crumbling those walls down so that we can begin to unify as one body in one accord, in one mind, working together hand in hand, one with another, because we are his body, we are his hands and feet, and we are fit jointly together to work one with another in our gifting, in our abilities, in our talents, in our time, in our resources, and how are we going to be able to really step out and um, be all that God's created and called us to be if we ha are bound um, by these these demonic spirits which are trying to hold us back of destiny. So I'm just going to say a prayer and if you feel led to agree with me in prayer for unity upon the body of Christ, for love upon the body of Christ, I come against the spirit of discouragement. I come against the spirit of despair. I come against the spirit of frustration, hopelessness, and anxiety, depression, and all yokes of demonic um, repetitive cycling and oppression and religious devils, shame, guilt, condemnation be broken by the power of the cross, by the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ is against every spiritual tormentor trying to torment and rob the body of Christ of peace, we are stewards of peace, and so we are called to protect the power and the virtue and the peace that is within us. So I command by the authority of the Word of God and the power in the name of Christ that anything and everything trying to rob us of peace be halted in operation right now. I arrest every demon of anxiety in the name of Jesus Christ. I loose the blessing of the Lord, just a supernatural grace to do the will of the Lord in this hour. And um, let us not grieve the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit that is in us. 
which we are sealed unto the day of redemption of the purchased possession. And I just command identity, worth, purpose, and destiny to come forth now in the name of Jesus Christ, that we would begin to rise up and to be all that we were created and called to be. Nothing more, nothing less. <clears throat> and it's all in the Lord that we move, we breathe, we have our complete being. So it's all in you, Jesus. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. We give you the glory. And I pray that we would begin to take the log out of our own eye before we look yeah. at the log in our brother's eye. Unification. Come forth now. In the name of Christ. Bring us to his perspective of heavenly mindset. Kingdom mentality. Come upon us. In Jesus' name. Amen. Supernatural strength. End times anointing. Hallelujah. We're going to need it. I just want to uh, end it with some prayer. Um, prophecy. Believe God. If anybody's on here, please, if you have a prayer request, write it down now. Um, we do have to get going, but I want to pray with you. I want to pray for you. And I believe there's people on here, and the Lord is saying that I have given you the keys to my kingdom. I'm going to teach you about my kingdom. I'm going to teach you about the keys I have personally gave you. And always remember, beloved, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Even if it looks like those things aren't being bound or loose, you do it in the spirit and use my name. Yes. Rise up in the authority I've placed yes. upon you in the name of Jesus. <coughs> Hallelujah. Prayer requests, prayer requests, prayer requests. Bro, prayer requests are coming in. Follow and go to Jenny's page. She is on here. Jenny is an apostolic evangelist, revivalist. More importantly, she's a daughter of the king. She makes great posts. She loves God. God loves her. She loves you. Follow her. Go and click subscribe to her page. Click uh, add to the page. Uh, and a friend. Um, this way you keep updated. Jesus in the streets. Jenny is the admin uh, to that. We need to work on that more um, because I'm not doing well with that. So thank God for Jenny. Um, we want to go into the streets more and get some live footage video of street evangelism because that is, excuse me, that is the main reason of the page. Um, so we're going to be working on that. Um, Praise God. Destination, new creation. Yes, feel free. Feel free. You'll, you Go on Jenny's page and you'll see the pages that she has and manages and check them all out. I believe it will be a blessing. Uh, she preaches the uncompromised word of God with no apologies and with love. So praise God. <clears throat> Any prayer requests? I see a ladder that, we're, that the body of Christ uh, it's climbing up levels, levels of authority. And the ladder goes all the way up yeah. to the clouds of heaven. Wow. And so we're all being prepped. We're being primed. And be not surprised at these fiery trials, which is to try us as if some strange thing mm. has happened to us. Mm. And, uh, and thank you. You know, you don't have to promote. I'm not asking to, you know, promote myself, but I'm here to promote the one who died and paid the price for us all to be sitting wow. here right now. And I see us raising in levels of spiritual authority with those keys to the kingdom. Hallelujah. Those all the way up to the throne room of God. And so wow. in the operation of the spirit realm, as in the book of Daniel, he was wondering why it took 21 days of fasting and prayer for the answer. Mm. But there's a lot of activity in the heavenly realms happening right now. And yes, we're not going to glorify the warfare, but no. it, we're going to glorify the name of the Lord. We're going to glorify the name who died and paid it all. So you and I can be sitting here right now, and we have the authority in his name to speak to those things which are not as though they were. And yes, they already are in the spirit realm, let us push past 
grab it and bring it down to earth because it's already there for the taking. Yes. But once we come into agreement with what we're seeing as the boat's getting rocked around us and the storm winds begin to blow, a lot of us get shaken up because the boat's getting rocked right now upon the body because of this great revival that's coming. So let us not be discouraged by the winds. Let us not be discouraged by the roaring and the raging of the sea because even the sea, even the winds, obey us in the name of Christ. Hallelujah. That's supernatural. You know, I got something like that a little while ago about a ladder. Really? Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. It just happens. Prayer request, anybody. <clears throat> yeah, one. Wayne Rivera. Wayne, yeah. Change of job, more contentment in the meantime. Okay. I forgot to move in a big way this year. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? We'll give them a few minutes, people. Hallelujah. Um, Daphne Dean Bisco Brooks. Okay. I need a riding lawn mower so I could mow my own yard. I don't have the finances to get one. Okay. Sure. Those things are really cool. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Look, it helps, you need it. Amen. Who else? And we're not skipping past anyone. So we just don't feel that way. Yeah, we're right. just putting it all to the throne room tonight. Amen. Every single need. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. You know what? Okay, so while we're waiting for more requests, um, <clears throat> anybody who knows me personally knows I'm very cautious with this stuff um, because it's been abused, it's been misrepresented. And it gives Jesus a bad name. Um, but I really, and like uh, our crew, really wants to get more involved um, with street evangelism um, this summer. Um, there's a lot of vision. And we need some provision. Finances, money. Um, we want to buy more materials of tracks, the books of John. I want to actually do an outreach where we did like, remember New York City? Yeah. I handed out sandwiches, hats, gloves, waters. It's something about going up to people on the streets and giving them something in the natural and then giving them the gospel. Um, so we want to do an outreach very soon. Uh, the materials as far as tracks, I get the book of John's. Um, church cards so to stay in touch with people it costs money I do have a PayPal um, if anybody feels led to give on the PayPal you can message me um, I promise you it will go towards good things um, and that's it if you feel led if you don't feel led, I still love you but uh, I, I really I really want to go like on wait. the streets like a lot I can't I really wait. do I when me wait. Mike and Maria went out a few days ago it brought all that back yeah. Like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Into the heart. This right. Fits. Right. And like, this is what I should be doing. Yeah. Consistently, though. Oh, yeah. And I want to yeah. have the finances where we could buy, you know, sheesh, a uh, uh, hundred peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and a hundred water bottles and tracks, yes. church cards, books of John, and eventually set up boots. Wow. Where we can rent out a venue. Amazing. And have people come up. And it costs Amazing. money. Look, yeah. I, I'm not... I. I I don't know what to say. I'm real. I'm honest. Yeah, I could tell you, sell you $30 seed and God's going to give you 300 in three weeks. <laughs> but it's not true. He might give you 300000 I don't know. But that's not me. The work of the Lord costs money. I live in America. It's that simple. I don't know what to say. It is what it is. Amen. You know what it is? Gotta it's what it is. This gospel's got to get preached. It's Amen. Parts of the earth. That's it. So we preach them with love. Praise God. So if you feel led to give, private message me. I can send you the PayPal link. It's fast, easy, and secure. If you feel led to give to Jenny, let me know. God has a great thing for her too. Jenny does a lot of, uh, Jenny actually pioneered 
a rehab outreach where she was taking people to Bible studies from rehab, taking people to church, um, and it's amazing. So praise God. Phoenix House, to be exact. So praise God. Um, any other prayer requests? I think you say that because I really, I, I, I really want to get into the street evangelism. Like no joke. I'm yeah, I'm talking about, No, I'm talking about like once yes. a week. Me too. I mean, that I want to, I, I want to be a Christian everywhere I go. That would be amazing. We already are, but now we're just going to take it to another level. Exactly. Yeah. See, I don't need to wit. I don't need to plan a street outreach to witness. I could go to a hotel and witness. I could go to a diner and witness. I could just be a Christian, but. There's something about when the body of Christ comes together in street outreach. Yes. There's really something. More of an impact. It's time to declare war on heroin in Long Island. Yes. Me, Maria, and Mike went out a few days ago, and we met a 25-year-old heroin addict. The Lord brought us to her. She grew up in a very religious, bad way, Christian home. Heroin marks all upon her arms. I shared with her my story, how I was a drug addict. Fully addicted to drugs by the time I was 14. And uh, Maria was moved with such compassion. She bought her a hotel for the night. Mike shared with her. It's not about religion, relationship. We drove her to the hotel. It's time to declare war on heroin on Long Island. Yes. And throughout the world. So if you're hesitant about where your money's going, I can show you the fruit to it. If you feel that, private message me. Jesus loves the heroin addict. Yes, come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Amen. Hallelujah. Any other prayer requests? Because my cameraman, I'm paying him $100 an hour, and I want to give him a tip. So, you know, I'm kidding, by the way, but he really deserves it. <clears throat> Please pray for Bufaf, Bufafi, okay. Deep Chin. Okay. He's just asking for prayer, that's it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. And you have the others too. There's a couple of requests. Wayne Bupapi Bupathi. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. And Wayne Bupapi and somebody from Daphne. Daphne for the lawnmower. Yes. Yes. Praise God. Father God, I lift up your children amongst you. Uh Bufafi, are you an evangelist? She said that she's a minister. What? I'm a minister. Are you an evangelist, Bufafi? I have no idea who she is. The Lord is showing me something. What? Are you an evangelist? I see you have a heart for the poor and feeding the children, taking care of widows and orphans. And I see you or your people, you guys are going to do mass Harvest salvations wherever you're at. Praise God. And I bind and loose any religious demon, any generational. I bind and loose anything that's coming against your daughter, Father. Now we bind it. And we say, be thou gone. Yes. By the blood of Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the miracle mower. Oh, hallelujah, the miracle mower. <laughs> In the, name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, the miracle mower. Yes, Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Lord. Whoever needs the miracle mower, don't be afraid to ask for money. Amen. And Lord, I thank you that Wayne is being stretched, a greater baptism of the Holy Spirit with fire upon his life, and he's going to have a great career and make a great man. It's time to become a man, Wayne. And the Lord Jesus Christ, God, he loves you. Sanctification's a process, Wayne. And you're going through it with Jesus. Spend time with him, he loves you. Anybody? I pray that Muller would plow and that she, Yeah, That Hallelujah. he would plow these, the Lord is plowing the fields. The fields are ripe for harvest, but yes. the laborers are few. Wow. Raise up laborers, and no man that puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of Amen. God. Amen. Amen. So, Lord, just let it be so. Amen. Have your way in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have your way. Is that it, brother? Yeah. Oh, 
Let's, let's declare that Long Island would be the Lord's Island. Yes. Who said that? Stephen Osi. Hallelujah. Jenny, declare it. Yes, we just declare and decree the territory of Long Island, New York, this entire state, this entire region. In advance, I pray that you would prepare the hearts of the people that we will come into contact with to be softened and to be in repentance and to be open to reception of the good news gospel of Jesus Christ. And that you would supernaturally touch this island by the Spirit of God, that people would call on the name of the Lord to be saved, Father. We speak it forth in advance. We thank you for souls coming in to the kingdom for such a time as this, that this is the appointed time for the vision Lord. as according to the promise upon your word in Habakkuk 2, 2 through 3. We waited for the vision, though it tarries, wait for it, it shall surely come to pass, and in the end it shall not lie, but it speaks truth. So we speak forth the truth of your word in the vision, and I believe in the harmony of your vision, Lord aligning with us. Give us your heartbeat for the people around us. Let us grieve when people around us are grieving because pure religion undefiled before the Father is this, to comfort the widows and the orphans, those who are grieving in their time Thank of affliction. Lord. So let the love of God shine down upon Long Island and just break the barriers of bitterness, break the barriers of hardened hearts, with the power of love, love covering yes. all. On this island, in this island, through this island, in the city, and let it spread across the United States. Hallelujah. Let it spread across the entire globe. I just come against the spirit of frustration. I just come against the spirit of murder, of war on this land, and let it be severed by the peace of God surpasses all understanding. A unification to be brought about by the love of God. For the love of Christ is with what compels us to sit here. It's the love of Christ, love of the Father be bestowed on this land and allow us to prepare for the greatest revival the world has ever seen and will ever see. Even greater works shall you do. The latter rain being greater than the former. Let the glory be released. In Jesus' name. Amen. Greater glory. 2K18. And that's it. This Greater is the year. Glory. And uh, I was going to say this. I believe that there's people on here and you're believing for finances. And the Lord is calling you to sow. I am not saying he's calling you to sow to me. I am saying that when we believe God for finances, God has a system where he says give and then it shall be given. That's what I believe. Press down, shaking together and running over. And men shall give into your bosom. So amen. Sometimes we want increase and we give to get the increase. And it's not that God is this genie who like we give 100, he gives 150. No, it's that God wants to see if you have money or if money has you. So if you think I'm saying if you want increase, so to me I'm not. Um, but given it shall be given. It's in the book. Paul said those who sow sparingly shall what? Reap. Reap sparingly. So amen. Any other prayer requests come in? There is such a peace and presence in this place. Yeah, there is. You know, I don't know if I'm going to make it home. I might have to stay here tonight. Too drunk to get home. Yep. I'm bombed. <laughs> yeah. And that was really only salsa he was drinking. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> yes, thank you so much. And coffee. New wine, Lord. Right, New right. Wine. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Wine from heaven. Yes. <laughs> And I want to encourage you to get alone with the Lord, get in some training, get under a good um, leadership, and prophesy. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Jenny, thanks so much for being a part of this. Thanks, we will do it again soon. 
Yes. My cameraman, the best in all of New York. Manhattan is searching after this guy. <laughs> Thank you. You're amazing. Your house is beautiful. He doesn't want me to reveal his name. I want to reveal his name, but he doesn't want me to. So that's okay. This house is absolutely stunning. Very Even nice. this coffee cup is nice. Can you believe this? Everything My gosh. in this place is Praise anointed. God. <laughs> right. The coffee cup's anointed. Wow. Praise God. I'm not going to be able to make it Joy home. from heaven. <laughs> Every time. Hallelujah. We love you. We love God. We honor Amen. you. We bless you. Grace and peace be multiplied to you. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. They're all three in one. God bless you. Be blessed. See you soon.